All right, guys, I ain't gonna lie. It's colder than a bitch outside, all right? So I'm gonna be doing a video today inside, indoors, because it's cold as fuck out there. I dead ass tried to start my intro out there just now. I was on some MGT. Hell nah, it's too cold. We going inside with this one, man. So hopefully the audio is a little bit better. Uh, I know every time when I make a video inside, y'all be like, oh, turn the volume up, turn the volume up, blah, blah, blah. But anyway, let me get into the video quick, uh, real quick. <clears throat> MGC what it do, it's your boy Moody Star, and I'm back again with another video. If you're new, you already know what to do, man. Become a subscriber, like the video, and join MGT. This is a channel where I like to highlight current events and talk about my spiritual walk here in this beautiful matrix. Now, first of all, I got to say a special shout out to anybody that's holding on to your energy, going within, and being high vibrational. Here at MGT, this is what we do. We work on ourselves every single day. All right, in this video, it's not going to be too long. I'm going to highlight y'all real quick. Keep in mind that... Um, when you've been taking care of yourself, you've been going within, doing what you got to do every single day, there's going to be a lot of people that are going to notice your energy. You feel me? A lot of people are already watching you, homegirls be talking about you, whether you know it or not. You know what I'm saying? Just because you don't see it doesn't mean that it's not happening. It's happening. Okay? But what you have to understand is because they notice your energy, they feel your energy, some women actually get jealous of guys who who just look on point or who are taking care of themselves or, or you know what I'm saying, who is not phased by their beauty. You know what I'm saying? A lot of guys, and and I can attest to this because I work in the food and beverage uh, uh, um, industry for now, and I know for a fact, bro, any chick that works in food and beverage, bro, there's always like, they always got at least one work hubby. That's number one. Um, and they have multiple guys, even their bosses trying to get at them, trying to talk to them or just or just show them that extra attention because the chick looks so beautiful. But you have to understand, bro, all that shit is going to get countered. You feel me? Whether you know it or not, like starting today, you got to know that your energy is very valuable. People notice you. People will feel it even if you don't pay them no fucking mind. It's so crazy. The more you ignore a female, the more they start to wonder about you. The more you don't say shit, to, unless they're probably in this situation because y'all have to have a level of dis discernment um, <clears throat> because not every female, just because like, you know, you got the natural attraction, you know, you're holding on to your energy, you're doing what you're doing. Just because you have that going for yourself, a female and maybe a female notices you or maybe she's probably, you know, whatever the case may be, it really, it really still don't mean that like you could get this female. In other words, you know what I'm saying? Because women, they deal with a lot. They deal with their emotions. They deal with mo again. On average, there's females, the females that I know for a fact, or I've came across, I should say, always has like a few guys in the tuck. You know, two, three guys that they could talk to, fuck with, this, that, and a third. So, let's say. You're at, let's just say, let's start out an example. You're at work. Um, you know, you got the you, you got the glow going and everything. People love you at work. And then there's just one female who is very attractive. Everybody shows her attention, but you're that one person that doesn't show her no attention. That's powerful. I want you to stand out by doing that. But by you doing that, she might start to hate your ass. She might start to become a low key, a hater, bro. There's some women out there, bro, that just sometimes get jealous by guys. You feel me? Now, usually this shit happens in the work in the work field, you know, when when, you know, a guy is working and then maybe like the, the female is like the manager or some shit. And then usually, you know, guys who can't control their their energy or they don't know how to um, they don't have no type of emotional intelligence. Yeah, they, they'll get bothered by females. Like, they will get jealous and, and they will be weak and they'll be like, oh, why does she get this? Or, oh, pretty girl privilege, this, that, and the third. Bro, you counter that by being on your shit. You counter that by not worrying about what's going on with the next person, what's going on with the next female, even if y'all are in a competitive um, uh, field. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not trying to make this, uh, you know, a women versus man thing or like, oh, you feel me? We need to conquer the women by having this natural attraction and, and having a glow and holding on to our energy. And then now we got to shit on them. Like, I'm not saying that, bro. We have to cipher through the bullshit, nigga. You feel me? There's a whole bunch of bullshit in the matrix, right? 
And there's a whole bunch of images that a lot of people try to project, right? And once we understand like, okay, what's real and what's not, then we'll know what direction we'll be going to in life. Just period. Like if you're trying to get shit done in your life, you know what I'm saying? That's the ultimate goal, man. Taking care of business. Now we're in, and again, this is, this is for the videos. Uh, this video is for some of the guys who are probably, you know, single, still trying to get, get their life together, build their life up. Um, understand like, no matter what you do, <laughs> if you are holding on to your energy, if you are going with them being high vibrational, there will be some people that will hate, bro. There's going to be females that will hate. It's going to be some females that will try to lie on you. They'll try to say, oh, he tried to talk to me, girl. Da, 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 da. It's, it's a lot of, bro, it's a lot of fe shysty ass females out there, bro. And, I, and I'm and i hearing this from other females. Other females are telling me this. Other females that I know, they be like, oh, man, this is dude that works on my job. I don't like him. He's always making all the tips. He's always all making all the money. They're, you know, they do that little neck. When they start doing this shit, that bobblehead shit, yeah, they start going crazy. Hating on a nigga just because a nigga is just naturally doing what he got to do. You feel me? It's going to be old heads that's going to hate too. For absolutely no reason, bro. Just because you glowing. Just because you glowing. Like, seriously. So we really have to, like, understand that we can't get too high. We can't get too low. We can't get sad when somebody hates us. Even though it might be 99% of the place that you are at, whether it's school or work, they fuck with you. And then that 1% that don't fuck with you. Yeah, it's so, it's weird. Like, we always, we are, as humans, we always focus on, you know, the negative or like, you know, what, it's like, damn, I got all this love here, but this one motherfucker right here, why is he hating on me? I ain't do shit to you. Your energy bothers their spirit. Outside of gender, I know that the few females that, that will get in their feelings about just a guy doing what they got to do. It's a spiritual thing. It doesn't even have anything to do with gender. It's all, it's, it's like, if you are naturally, like, if you're not hating, if you're not spitefully doing shit, if you're not, you know, looking to, you know, get back at a female, get back at people, bro, like, and, and somebody's still bothered by you and your presence, then it's just a spiritual thing that they have to, uh, they have to fix within themselves. And even in, and even some of us, bro, some of us that be on retention, some of us that be doing what we got to do, nigga, we still be having, we be still having flaws too. I want y'all to, I want y'all to know this, bro. I don't want y'all to look at me as somebody perfect. I want y'all to look at me as somebody who is just like y'all going through the same struggle, just like y'all. You feel me? When you're actively working on yourself every single day, bro, there's always going to be some type of new problem that you're going to run into. You know what I'm saying? It's just naturally going to happen. There's always going to be some type of new problem, but then there'll also be some type of blessing that is going to be like, it's going to be way worth it, bro. It's going to be worth it, bro. Just to vibe, do what you got to do. You're strategically building your kingdom. I, that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. You have to look at the times when you're at work, whether it's, whether you're getting love or not, whether they, whether people hate you or not. You got to look at those times that like, Okay, I'm strategically building my kingdom. Even in a conversation, when you're talking to females or you're doing something, you're talking to people, bro. Understand that though, like those conversations can be many building blocks to your kingdom. Converse, that's why I say don't waste your energy doing small talk. If you're going to have a conversation, what are you going to learn from this conversation? What is this person going to benefit from this conversation? Small talk. Oh, gossip, all that shit. Bro, I know that shit is so small and subtle, bro. But the smallest thing can shift your whole reality. Just like that, bro. You see what I'm saying? So again, bro, just realize no matter what you do, no matter how positive you are, no matter how great you might think you are, there's always going to be somebody that will envy you. Um, and in particular, there are some women that will envy you and will be jealous. Some women will be jealous of the fact that you can get all of these females or you have all these females on your dick, you know, saying, oh, hi, hi, Alistair. Oh, my God, you look so nice. Oh, your beard. Oh, your eyes. Oh, your name. Oh, your this. Oh, your that. Like, compliments coming. We already know it's going to be, I'm not, I don't even be paying attention to niggas who get jealous of me. I really don't. 
Because any guy who gets jealous of another guy, bro, is like, and not, it's not emotionally intelligent. You have to understand that we are all connected, nigga. That is a fucking, that's like a, a, a different version of yourself playing itself out. You're supposed to see this nigga. You're supposed to see this nigga get at this female or this female get at this nigga. And you, and instead of like looking at the situation, it's like, oh, why he always get all the bitches. Now you gotta look at it, it's like, damn. Okay, that, that's me in a different different uh, time, place, setting. Okay, I know I, ha I, have, I have the potential to be like that or be greater. You feel me? Once we start comparing ourselves to other people, other people's accomplishments and shit, that's when we, we literally take two steps back. You see what I'm saying? But I'm finna end the video for today. I'm gonna be late for work. I don't give a fuck. I fuck with y'all. So you know, I always gotta have my talk. It's cold outside, throw on the coat. Um, like, share, comment down below, drop a bag on the cash app to support the team. It's been your boy Moody Star. Merch coming soon. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm actually finishing up the last main design that I'm going to be doing. But uh, yeah, other than that, I'm going to definitely see you guys on the next video, man. Regards to anybody being envious of you, females being envious of you just because you're not paying them no mind. And they know they look good. They know they warrant the attention that they get from most guys, but obviously you're different. Obviously, you're unique. You're not worried about her beauty. It's a beautiful thing when you can start to view females with your first eye. Once you take away the beauty and you view their energy, experience their energy, that's when it becomes amazing. I'm going to make a separate video about that. The physical, because, you know, I, I forgot who the fuck said this quote, and I'm about to end the video, but he was like, I forgot who said it, but it was like, do not believe your two eyes, because they will deceive you. Nigga, everything that you see is a fucking illusion, bro. And, I, and I'm going a, I'm to a leave this, I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, like, share, comment down below, drop a bag, blah, 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 X, Y, Z. I'm going to definitely see you guys on the next video. Man, what the fuck happened over here, dog? Oh, hell no. Nah. Can't be going to work looking crazy. The fuck, I'm about to pull my shits up, nigga. Get you some tiger stripes. Peace.